this little instrument here is called a, a quattro and it originates from uh, Puerto Rico. It's a 10 string instrument. The little instrumental was born in Lisbon of all places. Um, I was in the Alfama, which is the old district of Lisbon, and uh, I went to a fado session, a traditional song of Portugal, and uh, they use a, a, a ten-string instrument as well, and I was loving the sounds thereof. So I kind of went back to the hotel where I was staying and picked up, and tried to emulate what those guys were doing. The name of the song is Oshala, which means God willing. I've had a joyous ride uh, the last seven years. I've been playing a lot in Europe, especially France and that, but so I'm heading to set base in Europe. I'm going to be living in Lisbon and using that as my base. And I just thought it was like a really, really cool place to create and something different to what I'm used to in KwaZulu Natal. And I'll be spending six months there, six months back in the old hood of KwaZulu Natal. God willing, Oshala. I stumbled upon the tuning of the piece after I read Keith Richards' autobiography and uh, he explained one of the tunings he used for some of the classic Stone songs, Brown Sugar, Bitch and Beyond. So I started noodling with it and all of a sudden all these African ideas came out of it. May your words always shine Along the pathways of time so You showed us something opened our eyes the song's about Nelson Mandela. I never liked to write politically motivated songs, but Nelson Mandela was a great, great man, and I, I was finishing life, the Keith Richards book, as we heard the news of Mandela's passing. And uh, his death made you reevaluate your own life, how to live a sound life his, by his example, basically. I, I wanted people to read between the lyrics that it was him. Peace in our time. I've been through some stormy weather. Um, I've also on a bit of a sabbatical at the moment. I've released an anthology album, Crossing Borders, Driving North, which is kind of a consolidation of all the work I've done, including a live album. So I'm trying to move on from that and trying to get more creative, thanks to Keith Richards and reading his biography and coming up with new ideas and new, new little nuances, playing a lot more quattro, the 10 string guitar. I've just recorded my new album, Natalia, in Devon in the south of England with the great producer Mark Tucker. I was aware of his work uh, through his productions for Jethro Tull, PJ Harvey, Portishead and Steve Howe from Yes. And working with a producer who understands the heartbeat of your music is a real fantastic experience and joy. Walking through this blinding rain